Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about a third-party app called ThingLink. Now we don't deal with too many third-party apps in the this little iTunes U course, but ThingLink is a nice powerful app that I think can be used in many different subject areas and it's very quick and easy to use. So ThingLink looks just like this. It has the four little different colored icons and things like that with a little camera in the middle. So I'm going to open up my thing link and this is my initial screen and that's because I've done quite a few thing links when you open it up at first you're gonna get a bunch of uh, preview ones for that other people have made to kinda of show you how thing links work but once you start creating them they're just gonna show you yours alright so to create a thing link I'm going to hit the plus button in the upper right hand corner actually I should probably show you what a thing link is first so let's take this thing link of an interactive body so you'll notice that I have this diagram of a body and I have all these little bullet uh, target practice things on there. Now these are the links. Thing link is exactly what it says. You can link different things to a diagram. So here I have the term superior and heart over the heart. Um, and so this is a very basic thing link, but you can add, uh, you can insert videos and other pictures and all kinds of different things. So you can make an interactive diagram. And that's what a thing link generally is. So let's make a thing link. I think it's easier if you see it in action. So I'm going to hit this plus button in the upper right hand corner. And I need to, an image to start my thing link with. So uh, instead of taking a picture with my camera, I'm going to go to my photo library. And I will take an image that I already have. And this can be any sort of image. It can be downloaded from the internet. Uh, it can be a picture that you take. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to pick this one. Okay, yep, I want to give it access. So this is a nice little caldera lake uh, with a nice little island. It's called Wizard Island. Uh, that's another little volcano inside of a... Uh, I guess you would call it a dormant volcano, but well, it's not really dormant, it's just a giant lake in one. So now I have this little bullet, or this little bullseye that I can move around. And now I'm going to put over this little uh, volcano there, that little wizard island, and I have a choice to add text or add media. So I could, let me see, I'll just add text, I'll call that wizard island, because that's the name of it. I'm a little bit laggy here, there we go, wizard... All right, well, you get the point. I'm not going to deal with this keyboard much longer here. Okay, so I can add some text. And I just, all you do is just tap somewhere else. I'm going to tap on the lake, and now I have a new bullseye pull up. And this time, to save us from the pain of the keyboard, I can add media. So I can take a video or take a photo, or I can choose from a gallery or YouTube. And the gallery is your photo library. So I can insert a photo or a photo on top of this diagram. So I don't necessarily need to. Uh, just keep it to one picture. So you could have, let's say, a map of a region and you could insert pictures of different areas. Or uh, you could have the human body and you could insert images, uh, more detailed images of different organs or things like that. I will say that if you're going to use YouTube, so I went back, I created a little bullseye and I'm going to say add from YouTube. The search function is not quite as nice on here as it is on YouTube itself. So I would recommend searching for the video on YouTube and then either getting the title of it and typing the title in or getting the URL and putting the URL in. This does search and it's not horrible, but it's definitely not as nice as doing it through the app or through the website itself. Um, but you can insert all kinds of different things. It's very quick. It doesn't take very long to make. And uh, the students generally do like it. It's kind of a fun little different way to show information and a different way to synthesize information as opposed to just a standard paper or what have you presentation. So let's say I want to get this out and I want to turn this in. So I'm going to hit the next button up in the upper right hand corner. And then I can add a little title. I would highly recommend uh, your students add the title with their name in it. Otherwise, you're going to get a bunch of thing links and you won't know what the person who did what. And then they just need to hit save. Okay, now here's my thing link. It showed up in my thing link images, my gallery. So here's my right here. I have my one little bullseye because I didn't save the one in the, over the lake. And then I can hit the little share sheet down in the bottom left hand corner or the export arrow, I guess is more appropriately called. And right here I can export it to either Google Classroom. Oops. iTunes U is not an option. So if you are using iTunes U, your best bet is to save it to files and then have them go into iTunes U and insert it from there. So it integrates uh, completely, it integrates directly with Google Classroom. Otherwise, if you are using iTunes U, all you have to do is hit save to files. You can save it to your files, to your iCloud drive, and then you could add it to your iTunes U from there. So they would go into the iTunes U course, click attach, and find it in their files app that way. All right, so hope if you have any questions, let me know. ThingLink's a nice, whoops, I exited all the way out. ThingLink's a nice little app that works very quickly, very easily for students. Um, so 
good luck and let me know if you need any help.